For India, there is a huge news. Under the India-US nuclear deal, the US Department of Energy has granted regulatory clearance to Haltech International to build and design nuclear reactors in India. This approval was issued under US Atomic Energy Act regulations. Haltech International received approval on March 26th to transfer unclassified small modular reactors. Why? Because India wants to shift to nuclear energy. Most of India's power still comes from coal. But India has made global commitments to reduce its carbon footprint. India has decided to move towards nuclear technology. Now, private companies will be involved. Haltech Asia, a regional subsidiary of Haltech, Tata Consulting Engineers and Larsen and & Tubro. Two Indian companies will receive nuclear technology to manufacture and install reactors in India. This will be used for clean energy, not for weapons. On March 3rd, 2025, the Indian government assured that private entities will use this technology only for peaceful nuclear activities under IAEA safeguards. The technology will not be weaponized. India gave this guarantee. This traces back to July 18, 2005, when Indian Prime Minister Manmohan Singh and US President George Bush announced the deal. The agreement was formally signed on October 10, 2008. Then in 2025, India proposed amendments to encourage private and foreign investments. February 11, 2025, Prime Minister Modi discussed a deal with US Vice President J.D. Vance. On February 12th, more discussions happened. Then on March 26, 2025, final regulatory clearance was granted. So from 2005 when it started to 2008 when it was signed, three years passed. Then from 2008 to 2024, nothing happened. Then suddenly in just six weeks, that is February to March 2025, India wrapped it up. Now India will have nuclear reactors. These small nuclear reactors will be installed in multiple cities to ensure clean, uninterrupted electricity. This is a massive win for India. Now why is this a game changer? The nuclear supplier group that is NSG and IAEA are involved. Regulatory hurdles for US companies manufacturing nuclear equipment in India have been removed. Now this strengthens US-India civil nuclear cooperation under the 123 agreement. Now this also aligns with India's clean energy goals and global carbon reduction commitments. Now why was there a delay in this deal? If you look at India's Civil Liability for Nuclear Damage Act CLNDA 2010, it is a law that makes nuclear suppliers companies that provide nuclear reactors, parts or materials financially liable in case of a nuclear accident. Now, most countries follow the Vienna Convention on Civil Liability for Nuclear Damage, where only the operator, like in India, there is NPCIL, is responsible for any nuclear accident. But India's 2010 law holds both operators and suppliers liable, making it one of the strictest law in the world. Now, this discouraged foreign nuclear companies. Now, all these obstacles are removed. For that, in 2015, Nuclear insurance pool of 1,500 crores was created to reduce supplier risks. Basically, the Indian government has convinced foreign companies that their risk would be minimized through legal frameworks. In the next video, I will explain what small modular reactor is and how it works and what are its benefits, etc. etc. So, I hope you found this video informative. In this video, I've told you about two Indian companies who will be involved heavily. So, keep an eye on the stocks of those companies and let's see how things unfold.